Okay guys, so a real heavyweight today. As you can see, we've got one of these Yale Maximum Security Bike Locks. And of course, Yale yeah, have given this a 10 out of 10. Um, and of course, you can see it's resistant against uh, drilling attack, picking attack, and bolt cutters. And of course, the Sold Secure Gold Award as well. This does actually have a 15 mil hardened shackle with this uh, plastic coating. And it has four locking poles as well, which I can show you. As you can see there, we've got two this side, as you can just see them in there, and of course two the other side as well. So a very, very physically secure lock. Um, as you can see by the key, obviously quite a unique little key. This is actually a slider lock, so it has eight sliders. Um, it has four sliders one side and four sliders the other side, of course interacting with two sidebars, one either side. So they can be quite tricky to pick. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to reset the camera up slightly so you can get a good uh, look at the core. And of course, we'll, uh, we'll get this picked for you. Okay, guys, as you can see, we've got a slightly different camera angle there. So hopefully you can get a better view of the uh, core as we go through the picking process. As you can see, we have these two steel plates there, which are sprung loaded, and the spring pressure on them is actually quite strong. We'll just quickly show you the lock's working fine. As you can see, it's working absolutely flawlessly. And of course, we are now all locked up. So to tension the lock, obviously, we're going to go through with this uh, heavy Z bar, which will go through these two sprung loaded plates there. And of course, we'll just pick up on the uh, core there and apply heavy tension. To actually set these sliders, I'm going to go through with the 18 thousandths shallow hook. It's going to go through the bottom sliders first and then work our way through to the uh, top sliders and then hopefully get the open. OK, so nothing on one, nothing on two. Little click out of three. Just slipped off four. Maybe a little click out of four. Little click out of one that time. Two feels fine. Three feels fine. Just making sure we get directly underneath four. Okay, got a little click out of four that time. One feels fine. Two feels fine. Another little click out of three. Just making sure we get directly onto four. That's better. Got a little bit of rotation on the core then, so I think maybe all the bottom uh, sliders are set, so we can start working on the top ones. Nothing on one, nothing on two, three, and four. Just applying heavy tension still. Just need to make sure we get directly on those sliders. Little click out of two at a time. Three fills set and four. I'm just going to go back down to the bottom ones just to make sure we're all set there. Nothing on one. Two's definitely set. Three. Just going to make sure we get directly onto four. Four fills fine. One, two. Just touch two. And of course, we got the open. But not too bad there really i think the real secret there really is to uh, just make sure you get directly underneath each of the sliders um, and then just wait for that to click as i say they can be relatively tricky to uh, to set especially with the heavy tension as well i don't think it's got any false gates in it but either way a fantastic lock and probably warrants its 10 out of 10 security rating listen guys thanks ever so much for your time and of course i'll catch up with you again very shortly thanks guys